One of the highlights of our home education was reading aloud to the children. We would choose a book that had something to do with the topic and we would read aloud just about every day. Fact and fiction, you name it, we read it. One of the things that we found out though is that it would be better to keep the kids occupied while I read aloud to them. It was much better for their hands to be busy than sitting just listening. If they're just listening, they soon climbed the walls. But if they were busy with their hands, they listened. So they got the story and we traveled everywhere in the comfort of our own lounge. They got the story, the comprehension, the spelling, the vocab, they got everything and they were creative while they were listening. We did all sorts. I taught them how to knit, I taught them how to crochet, I taught them how to cross stitch and then at the same time as getting the story they could produce something at the end of the read aloud book. Even my son learnt to knit and crochet and cross stitch. It started off for him by doing some occupational therapy. He had a midline crossing problem. The left hand just would not help the right hand and the occupational therapist suggested that he get a polystyrene ponnet. We had some holes punched in and he would have to sew. But he saw the girls doing cross stitch and he decided it would be much better if he did something creative instead of just a polystyrene thing with a funny picture on. So he learnt to cross stitch as well. And one of the things that he managed to do was a, a Chevy car and a Ford car complete with silver bumper bars. He'll never cross stitch again, but he's got other skills. He does all the woodwork and everything that is necessary. The girls can woodwork too, but it's very, well, it's not the right thing to do to run a band sort at the same time as mom's reading aloud. And so they did all the quiet stuff while mom was reading and they did all the noisy stuff some other time. One of the things that we tried doing as, as well as the knitting and the crocheting was quilling but that didn't take off. So there's some skills that you might want to try that won't work. And you don't have to feel that you have to teach your children to knit or to crochet or any of these skills. Teach them the skills that you have. It doesn't have to be everything that everybody else has. Now, when I was um, having some um, home education moms over on a monthly basis, I would tell them about all these things that we were doing, the knitting, the crocheting, the cross stitching, the things that, that the, the children had achieved and I would show them the cross stitch on the wall. Some of the moms were excited and they would enjoy the idea of getting started on such a skill and letting their children achieve something like that too. But other moms froze. They didn't have those skills. So how could they teach them to their children? Well, you have to just be a little bit creative. What does creation mean? It means bring into being. So you choose what you want to bring into being. And while you read out loud to your children, you can actually get them painting or you can they can play Lego or you can get them doing something else that they're good at. They can create a, a finish a craft that is related to their topics, get them drawing, all sorts of different things that are pertinent to what you want them to do. So it doesn't have to be knitwear or anything like that. It can be something that you want to teach your children. You make a plan. One of the plans you can make is to ask Uncle Google. In my day, if you didn't have, if your mom didn't have the skills of knitting and crocheting, then you didn't learn. Maybe Gran taught you. But what you can do now is you can learn alongside of your children and find out a skill that you both want to learn and you can learn it together. And then when the children have got the hang of it, you can read aloud to them while they do the craft. So there's plenty that you can do. Another thing that you could do if you haven't got the knitting needlework type stuff down is you can do origami. That's another um, possibility that is quite creative. And what's nice about doing these crafts while you read aloud is that you can make gifts for other people while you are busy getting the story. So there's so many different ways. You can make a plan. You are made in God's image, who is the ultimate, he's the ultimate creator. You are made in his image. You can be a creator too. It's up to you.